Hello everyone, in this video I've decided to talk about planes of movement. Once we understand the concept, understanding it is going to help us to answer anatomy and plane of movement question very easy. So we have three main plane of movements. We have sagittal plane, we have coronal and frontal plane, and we have transverse plane. So in this video, please pay attention to the terminology I'm using as plane is different than axis and also there are some terms that we can use interchangeably as the meaning is the same but we have different terminology please pay attention to all of these so with the sagittal plane overall what is the plane so plane is an imaginary line for example let's imagine we have a sheet of glass that comes and divides our body to different halves so it depends what plane we are talking about. For example, sagittal plane is cutting body and dividing our body to the left and right side. So we will explain all of that in detail when we are discussing about each. So let's talk about sagittal plane first. The sagittal plane is, is the vertical plane that cuts our body to the left and right side. So I'm gonna be using this piece of paper so you guys can imagine and understand better. So with the sagittal plane, this plane is vertical, but it's going to cut the body in this way, all the way from top of the head to the bottom. So in result, we are going to have two halves and we are calling it left and right half, right? So then about this plane, if it's happening in the midline, they call it mid-sagittal plane. In result, we are gonna have two equal uh, half in size. But again, sagittal plane can be happening in any part. It's not necessarily supposed to be happening midline, okay? So now, what is the perpendicular axis to this plane? Because remember, movements are happening around the axis. So if this is my sagittal plane, then the axis perpendicular to it is gonna be coronal or frontal axis, this way. Let's imagine this is that rod or axis, okay? So now you guys tell me what type of movement can happen around this axis, all right? So let's say I'm gonna place this axis right here. Any kind of flexion and extension occurs around this coronal axis or sagittal plane. Remember, this is just a perpendicular to this plane. Um, or any type of like if I'm flexing my head and extending my head, this is gonna be happening in the sagittal. Or same thing, if that's the same coronal axis and sagittal plane, any biceps curl, right? Happening in this plane and axis. Or if I do lunge, moving forward, okay? This is happening in the sagittal plane again. Or if I kick the ball, right? If I'm playing soccer and I'm kicking the ball, this movement happening in the sagittal axis or um, sagittal plane, excuse me, or coronal and frontal axis. All right, moving forward with the next vertical plane, which we call it coronal or frontal um, plane. So again, we can use these two terms interchangeably because both of them mean the same thing. So the thing that helps me to remember, we place the crown on top of the head. So coronal plane, all right? But this is gonna be cutting the body in this way. So I put the crown on my head and then this is gonna come and cut my body in two halves. This time we are gonna be having anterior portion and posterior portion front and back all right front the other name for it is anterior and posterior is going to be used for back all right so then what is perpendicular line to this one so the perpendicular line or axis that movement can occur around it is going to be what guys the sagittal right the sagittal axis the sagittal axis uh, which is perpendicular. Tell me what type of movement can occur around this one. So for this one, we can say if I am like um, flexing my body to the side, for example, if I'm flexing my torso to the right or flexing my torso to the left, 
or if I am raising my arm and moving my arm away from my body, okay, on either side, left and right. So this called like abduction. And when I'm bringing my arm close to my body, this called adduction. Both of them occurs in the frontal plane, right? So same thing with the leg. If I am like uh, doing this movement with my leg, abducting or adducting my leg, both of them are happening in the coronal or uh, frontal plane and then sagittal axis. All right. And the other example I want to give you is going to be like a uh, scapulous movement. So when I'm rising my, uh, if I raise my arm to uh, on top of my head, this is going to be the movement for the scapula. The scapula moves either uh, clockwise or counterclockwise. So it's kind of moving in a left and right um, position, but again, in the same plane, in the coronal or frontal plane and sagittal axis. All right, we are moving forward with the next plane. The name is transverse plane. So this is not going to be the vertical, right? It's a horizontal or transverse plane. So this way, that imaginary line or sheet of glass or sheet of paper comes and cuts our body to two halves, this time up and bottom half, all right? So, um, what type of movement can happen in this plane? Again, we need to find that perpendicular axis. So perpendicular axis is going to be vertical axis, right? The vertical axis or that um, rod can go all the way through this plane. And tell me if this is that rod, okay, my thumb is, if my thumb is that rod or axis, what type of movement can occur around it? Exactly. Any rotational movement can occur around this axis. So for example, if I'm rotating my torso to the left or to the right, okay, or any like supination and pronation, I can bring my arm forward in front and then supination when my palm face up and pronation when my palm face down. So you can see back of my hand, this both of them are going to be happening in the transverse plane or a vertical axis. So as you guys see, like if we are moving uh, or when we do our daily activities, we are using different planes. We are, our body moves in different planes and around different axes. So I would recommend when you do your activities, ask yourself what type of movement happened around like what plane and around what axis this way you can question yourself and learn better but remember our body is super smart we are not just moving around only one plane or around one axis so for example if i do lunge and in the same time i do biceps curl or moving moving my body side to side kind of rotating i'm using three different um, or two different plane and moving my body around two different axes. So this lunge is going to be sagittal. This is sagittal plane, right? But rotation is going to be the transverse plane. So you are learning, you are growing. I appreciate your attention. Please stay with us, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.